evangelist and is a diversity and inclusion ambassador and associate lead for industry outreach for IBM India Chapters Community for Women in Security called WISE, Women in Security Excelling. She is an active speaker and moderate moderator at IBM WISE's event, also worked with various security community and is the founder of UKCSA in the chapter for WISE IBM in the chapter. She is passionate about increasing diversity participation in the information security space and also serves as the community lead for the InfoSec Kids, a community that is, that is instrumental in raising information security awareness for children. Vishaka, you have the floor. Hello, everyone. So today I will be speaking about manifesting and mastering the art of executive presence. But before I begin, let me start with my own story. I come from the remotest corner of my country, a place wherein which is rich in medical and agricultural science, but not IT. So I had to make sure that I my voice is hard. So what did I do? I started my career as a penetration tester, entered the industry. A little shy I used to be because I come from that corner where people are not known for IT, right? I went ahead to do MBA in cybersecurity so that I could manifest the art of executive presence. Again, it wasn't working. Why? No matter how good you are at what you do, no matter how what you do, and we all are here to climb up the career ladder, right? Three elements we require for that. Competence, confidence, warmth. Any one lacking, people don't take you as someone who has executive presence. And why is executive presence necessary? Have you imagined anyone walking into a room and their aura being so powerful that you say, this is the future leader? That is what is called executive presence. Now imagine your favorite hero, or for that matter, any actor. What is that about that person that you remember? And what? Uh, and why is that person remembered? There has been there had been some spark in that person which makes that person Im presence immemorial in your memory, right? That is executive presence. And why is it necessary? Leaders come and go, but only few leaders are able to make a mark in the world. They are immortal because of the deeds they do and because of the legacy they leave behind even after that, uh, their death. So that is the beauty of executive presence. And why is it important is because had it not been for executive presence, people would have never taken any person seriously. You can be a big shot hacker. You don't know how to communicate well. You don't climb the career ladder so easily. So that is why this is very important important now when we talk about women in particular we are assumed to not have strong authoritative tones men on the other ha hand have a problem with emotional intelligence so the empathy factor is rich in women and emotional uh, intelligence which is and in men is the authoritative in general i am talking exceptions are not example but you know what the quality to of vice versa interchanging both are important for executive presence you might not be born with it good news but you can definitely manifest it and master it too how with practice so when we talk about great leaders the first person who comes to my mind, because I am also an Apple user, is Steve Jobs. When I say Steve Jobs, what do you see, remember? Or what can you visualize? 
if you at all you are a steve jobs fan or someone who has an experience of listening to him his videos online his signature speech that black shirt blue jeans that made him unique the way he said the way he launched the products those products are unique even after his demise apple is something which has a different set of audience or consumers that made him immortal we always remember steve jobs speeches right when i talk about michelle obama someone who looks very powerful a women of substance and torrential authoritative tone someone we all look up to but her advantage was being she was a law candidate so that came a given so when we talk about sheryl sandberg she is somebody who chooses to share her own story she is a good storyteller and she brings in empathy to the table so if you are listening to me and imagining all these people you will understand the different traits they have which made them so powerful in the world the world knows them so this is something which can be manifested because this were developed when we talk about marit thatcher she developed her tone her tone wasn't authoritative but she practiced a leader we all remember and there are many other we can go on and on about these leaders and their signature styles which made them someone who we looked up to we believed in that we can trust them when testing time comes we gave them the opportunity to lead us barack obama again someone with very warmth and strong vision and i've said about leaders we can be one too how and why is it important important because the sooner the better when you start practicing executive presence from early on in your life at high stakes communication situation executive presence become a routine small small changes in your life and your life becomes a better place people trust you more they give you more responsibilities which holds risk which helps you climb up the ladder and this is something which is easily doable see such a good news isn't it but in order to have executive presence there are certain things you need to look after there are certain behaviors which you have to be mindful about what are they and why are they important because to project confidence and for people to have confidence in you these are very important you believe it or not even when you see a leader you tend to observe a leader and knowingly or unknowingly to be you wish to be somebody like them they are always under observation right so what is that stands out that is executive presence and how can it be manifested it's very simple i am going to talk about the trick of the trades and you know what you will be amazed how simple it is yet we don't pay much attention to it be it any reason when i talk about it first thing that comes to my mind many of us have a dark past yes and somehow as humans we tend to get carried uh, away with that past i had one too i was bullied in my school life and which made me lose my self confidence i did work hard but when you do not have confidence you don't perform well in examination and that was my problem what was wrong going wrong with me the self pity thing the story i was telling to myself it is all about the story you choose to tell yourself it's it works on the law of attraction you are the stories you tell yourself so first thing first 
if at all you have a sad story write that down on a page and for heaven's sake go burn that page and write a new story of success when you train your head to manifest that yes you are going to be successful there is no force on earth that can stop you from being successful change your story first thing and then few things which can help you become a good leader or someone with executive presence first posture so while listening to me how many of you are laying down like this or like this or like this mm -hmm. i'm sure there are many had it been uh, someone who has ex executive presence the person would have said straight while listening because it is his or her habit small tweaks in posture makes people take you very seriously and when you look at someone of high demeanor you will observe how smooth their postures are and their posture speaks a lot for them more than they can talk for themselves so yes correct posture first thing first also it helps in keeping your health okay because with wrong posture you tend to uh, have different types of problem physical problems sleep disc and many other and with the pandemic we have no choice but to sit most of the time in in front of our laptop so why not practice better postures gestures the way our uh, fingers work how we talk the way we walk small small things makes big impact i imagine two people all right same identical resumes yet first person sweating while talking having loose posture not confident about what to speak fumbling stammering has lots of filler words i think the description which i gave with that if if someone comes to in front of you the game is over right second person chooses words wisely has strong gestures correct postures might not know much but very good communication skills shows the person is serious and taken more seriously that person wins the battle so this is the importance of having good posture and gesture moment the way your hand talks finger talks you know something sometimes we tend to sit like this because we are very nervous sometimes our hands don't move at all sometimes we don't know what to do with our hands there are situations sometimes it's under our pockets that also happens when we are standing somewhere very difficult things and not a good sign of having executive presence you know what your fingers are good storytellers and they can speak about you or your personality more than you do so learn to speak with your fingers your hands when you walk walk with your body straight very important people take you seriously and not with loose gesture small small things you will see making larger impacts in your life because when you start doing this in daily routine your work or for that matter your life will will definitely put you in high stake communication situation in difficult situation and that time you do not have to worry about your executive presence that is the beauty of practicing this things day in and day out so this is very important language very important working on grammar very important because people coming from different countries might have different accent which is still workable because when in rome you behave like romans but still that ethnicity does not go and one should learn to respect others ethnicity yet with a good grammar with a language which does not have fillers with proper pauses 
things becomes easier and people look up to you as a good communicator or somebody who will save them during testing times at high stake communication situation so that is the power of language voice very loud voice shows you are nervous but very low voice shows you are nervous again modulation in voice shows that you are well prepared very important the pauses between your speech makes people absorb what you are trying to say a very important thing to have it changes the game for you and it changes the way people judges you small tweaks in this fillers does go how do you work on it record yourself we all have cell phones right record yourself in a phone tell a a story of how where do you see yourself 5 years down the line and then judge you might say some other question answer some other question then judge yourself as being somebody else listening to somebody else you will identify your problems in your communication the fillers will go when you identify that you have many i did have a problem with my you know problem <laughs> i used to say you know a lot while talking and that's okay we all are humans and the journey won't be perfect that's a given but you need to practice small small things practicing imagining a person talking about manifesting the art of executive presence and having no executive presence herself first thing you would do is go and bash the organizers who did you bring why is she having so much fillers why is she not confident where did we come i had to practice right it's important it's part of the game in life in conferences for that matter at work better practice because even if you're technically sound your personality still holds a major uh, chunk of your growth in life communication is the first skill if you don't know what you are doing or don't know to communicate what you are doing it's a difficult thing for people so it's okay one more thing always have a backup it said two is one one is none so your communication whatever you are going to say or whatever preparation you have done while you are presenting a ppt has to have five versions if not five let's boil it down to three which will show that you are five question deep of what you are going to say because if at all somebody else chooses to say the same thing that you are going to say or you are put in a different situation altogether or somebody throws question at you it's difficult and you it shows that you are not well prepared for what you are there so five question deep two is one one is none remember this have a backup of whatever you are going to communicate dig so deep into the subject matter that nobody can question your authenticity because credibility and authenticity is something people look up to in great leaders and that you are credible will come from your knowledge because knowledge is power then facial expression imagine somebody coming here and having a poker face no smile or somebody who loves too much or somebody who is super nervous her face shows that she is nervous or somebody who's angry her personal life anger is shown on the screen you know what these things will make the game over for the person speaking and also for the uh, for how she is looked up to so your facial expression does a lot of talking for yourself sometimes you don't even need words to express what you're feeling your face speaks it for you so you need to be that careful as to what facial expression is required at what situation you cannot choose to show that you are nervous if you are and it's very human to be nervous 
बिकॉज वी आर ह्यूमन्स बट टू शो योर वीकनेस एट अ हाई स्टेक कम्युनिकेशन सिचुएशन डज द गेम ओवर फिल सो मैनिफेस्ट द आर्ट ऑफ कीपिंग काम एट डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन and let the face do the talking for you dress another important thing there might be rules but you got to make your own rules wear what you are uh, whatever you are comfortable in and most importantly wear a smile because you cannot spark a journey if you aren't sparked and that spark comes from your uh, comes from smile now when we talk about dresses some people choose to wear light colors it depends on everyone's personality choose what you are most comfortable in i am someone who has a loud personality loves loud color bold colors sometimes just a lipstick does the work for me why because i feel very fresh wearing that bold lipstick but that is me you might not be the same person yes what you wear does the talking for you too especially when you are an executive and when you are placed in a high stake communication situation but you don't let anybody else decide what you are going to wear or how you are going to carry because an authentic person will always carry their own style that makes you unique right you might learn from people but you have to be your own self that's called authenticity and that makes you credible people believe in you only when you know to believe in yourself and the small small things the way your hands work how, the way your movement work the way you dress the way your voice works the way your facial expression works does the talking for you and create your executive presence now this all things where also applicable before the pandemic but with the advent of the pandemic came another problem in life what the camera virtual conferences virtual meetings which wasn't the case earlier right screen executive presence is something people are still lagging behind in manifesting and mastering why most of the time people choose to turn off the camera to make their life easy but you know what that takes away the attention and takes away someone else's attention also in taking you seriously your game is over there and then the moment the person thinks that this person might be sleeping on the other end of that camera and that happens because i am sure you have also noticed many people doing that right that is normal we are all humans come on learn to turn on your camera very important second when we make presentations we see uh women tend to use lots of slide to show that she is very prepared and that she has done a lot of work but you know what using lot of ppt sometimes tend to bore people and it is not their fault also because in the pandemic our life has become so monotonic that we are watching ppt excel files or whatever we are doing at a stretch boring human interaction is, makes a difference how about knowing what you are going to say up in a ppt and talking it in the full screen makes people take you more seriously that is the reason today i did not choose to have a ppt i do have a ppt but i am not sharing it if at all you need it i'll be sharing it to the organizers and your work will be done why because i ch- chose to show my executive presence as simple as that and also not to bore you because i get bored when people use too many ppts and also when those ppts are too verbose it takes away the energy of the listener you know and it's very important that you don't do that <laughs> so that people take you more seriously and know that you have executive presence that spark in you that is how people tend to believe you but for that matter you have to be very good at what you are going to speak you have to be five question deep and that's possible 
little practice little more confidence little good story about yourself the law of attraction all these things churned into a cohesive whole make you a person with a good executive presence and trust me it is very easy to manifest also at zoom meetings people sometimes don't tend to change their background images which is okay but then you got to have a calm background and not chaotic because you know what we all are troubled with our screens how about a pleasant screen so i practice what i preach what do you see here a dream catcher my books the message the future is bright this is my working area i keep the vibe vibrant and lively not for people just the people who are watching me but also for myself i feel at peace with myself because i know my future is bright i have a dream catcher and i know i have lots of book to read simple things you see make so much difference right <laughs> okay now also when you are talking in any conferences or seminar or for that matter at a high stake communication situation you got to turn off your notifications another thing which you should practice as a good executive presence person so again small small things big big differences makes people take you seriously and also because people will not should not know what's going on in your life when you have a slack channel or some other app which shows personal messages it is something which gives a thought of social engineering right so you have to be mindful your computer is your work of worship it's your place where money breeds which gives uh, makes you who you are so you have to mind be mindful to keep your own information or data secretive very important also learn to be a little loose on yourself don't be very strict with yourself we are all in the pandemic you might burp there might be a dog lots of things might happen just learn to absorb that it's okay you don't have to be too conscious about what what's going on around it's 1:30 am in india my dog might bark at any time and i am speaking so i cannot be on mute learn to forgive and you know people are very forgiving because they understand because they are on the same uh, side of the table so don't be hard on yourself because you are here for a spark journey and we are all here to spark our as well as others journey small small things making big differences manifesting your executive presence and you can master that those too which makes people think that you are an important person but for anybody else to believe that you are important you got to believe it yourself and how do you do this the small things small small changes in daily routine it becomes a habit and when like throw situation in you which are which requires high stake communication you are prepared with your executive presence and people will choose you they will trust you that this is the person i can trust at difficult situation this person will take me out from the difficult situation and i think when we talk about nelson mandela he was somebody who had this somebody with warmth credibility confidence he radiated everything that is why people believed him very easily i don't want to be mean but being a hillary clinton in a pants suit does you no good so you choose you want to be the sheryl sandberg michelle obama or someone like hillary clinton i am sorry but yes it is what it is let's embrace it so yes that was my time 
looking forward to questions, if any. Great presentation, Shaka. Thank you very, very much. I was taking some notes here. Uh, right at the start, Kellen mentioned that storytelling is such an important art, and I think it's one that uh, it's getting a little more uh, highlights nowadays, but it's still very much overlooked. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. So when we talk about storytelling, that is something which is very important. Why? Because that shows how authentic you are. You might have a lot of content when you're talking, giving a motivational speak, uh, speech in particular, but you don't bring at that element of your own journey. How do people rely on you? How do people believe that you are an important person, the right person to go to? You got to bring in that empathy factor. And that is what even Sheryl Sandberg does. Her TED talk was the most uh, heard TED talk that year. Why? Because she shared her, chose to share her own story. And her story makes her powerful. So yes, storytelling is very important. And also, it helps people comprehend what you're trying to say. Imagine your client not understanding anything about infosec the best way you can teach him is through stories so it is an art which has to be manifested when you're talking about executive presence because even as a technical person you got to know how to break it down into small simple stories to convert a deal see how important it is yes it is very important uh let me see there was another one here from laura laura fish she was mentioning something about having a rest b face and how that stuff and how we must practice for uh presentations me and angelina gave her some points but from what you've done from where you've been what would you uh, suggest to people who want to practice uh, presentations and have no idea where even to look for? Yes, very important question and a very good question. Thank you. So when you are there to present about something, don't worry about the graphics and all. Fo be focused on the content. Have an a practice to write down the content and also learn to outline your content even if it is a 10 page content learn the art of making outlines because you know what those outlines will make you help you make the ppts and regarding making powerful colorful ppt have a sense of the color wheel and you will get help from the internet so and how to present so i'll talk tell you about my story I was not a very outspoken person. I used to be a shy person uh, when I came to IBM. I used to do photography for IBM Vice until, an, uh, until my mentors, they asked me to start teaching to people. And one of my friends, she preaches that the best way to learn something is to start teaching it. The moment you start teaching people, you learn how to practice. And making PPT is no big deal. The moment you outline what your uh, your content, your PPT is any which way is ready. Templates and everything can be found on the internet, right? And with practice, you will master the art of making beautiful, colorful PPTs. Listen to talks, go to YouTube, find out people who does amazing with the talks and PPTs. Learn the trick of the trace with them and you're good to go nice we have one more from allison henry what are your thoughts on managing a hybrid meeting with both remote and in-person participants do you speak to the room or to the camera both so this is something <laughs> this is something which is a tricky situation in that situation what do you do 
you place the camera where in your face is projected in the opposite side of your audience in that case you do not have to worry much about whether you're talking to the audience in the camera or to the audience sitting in the room as simple as this see but yes the direction you have to be mindful also you have to be mindful of the light another good thing which came to my mind because when you are on a camera the light should be good this is executive presence also um let's see what else we have time for oh we're, we're cool with time i think um there was this line where you you mentioned about virtual backgrounds <laughs> yeah look and, at it yeah so powerful uh, it looks right yeah my, my case at least is that the way i set up my home office here i don't have anything in the background i have a blank white wall so i ended up thinking it would be better to highlight movements i'm part of that I advocate for to help spread the word and the, the, the logos of the, the events I'm doing currently. So sometimes I have only these two, sometimes I have one, two, three each side, but it's, it's kind of different from where you are right now. I don't have a, a nice uh, painting on the back. I don't have a, a place to put some books. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You are, your screen looks better than mine with the Diana initiative and your uh, community. And it looks very powerful, trust me. Thank you. <laughs> there, was, uh, there was one comment we, uh, we even highlighted. Uh, someone saying that they thought your background looked really beautiful and powerful and it, it spoke of your... Uh, personality I Thank find you. it here beautiful background it speaks to your personal brand <laughs> Thank you so much let me see if we have something else there's some talk between attendees in the chat I think that is really good people connecting a um, lot of thank you great talk and presence all this is very helpful. Appreciate your thoughts. Learning a lot. Amazing presentation. So much energy. Uh, I think that was that from the chat. Let's let's see. There was one uh, Shrufi Kamath saying that storytelling is easier is the easier way to connect with people right uh ronnie wilkinson I am, just oh, sorry go on yeah i am allergic to makeup is it really that important to executive presence uh-huh very beautiful question no you don't have to wear makeup who said that you have to i do because it it helps me Although I have a very sensitive skin, so I cannot wear a lot of makeup. This is my natural skin, which is very oily. So what I do, I put on a loud lipstick. It works for me. Eyeliner and mascara, it works for me. I'm good to go. So makeup is not that important because your personality is, it speaks for you. In my case, a loud lipstick works. Does the talking for me? In your case, <laughs> it might be something else. Wear confidence, that is most important, not makeup. Because whatever you feel right or good at or comfortable with and your face doesn't itch or you know you don't have allergy to your face, that is more important, not a plastic face. So yes, it depends on individual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was a great question. Yeah. Um, I think we are good. Do you have any, any closing words you'd like to share? Yes. Thank you, Diana Initiative, for the uh, opportunity. And I am very grateful. Goodbye.
and namaste from india i'll be around we can hang out in the networking session thank you